Hey guys, this is Raven with The Regal Reptile, and today I want to start something new called How To Tuesdays, where I show you guys how to do something in the reptile hobby. Whether it has to do with animal husbandry, something convenient, or something cool I just know how to do. You guys can contribute to this by asking questions in the comment section below. I want to know what you want to know, and I want to help you figure it out. It could be something you can't find on Google, something you want to get an extra opinion on, or even something you might be a little embarrassed to ask. I know at the beginning I was embarrassed to ask how to change water for a tub to axolotl, and when I figured that out, I put it on the channel for you guys because I think it's useful information. So that's what I'm doing today, and without further ado, I am going to show you guys how to weigh your animals. Let's go! So you're going to need a few things in order to weigh your animals. No, Maxwell, you don't necessarily need you to weigh an animal unless we're weighing you. The first thing you'll need is a scale, of course. This is a gram scale that I got from Reptile Basics. You should check them out. I will link their website in the description, but they sell a whole lot of cool things from heat tape to enclosures to light fixtures and temperature gauges and then a scale. The scale is for medium to small reptiles uh, you wouldn't want to weigh like a boa constrictor on it or anything like that. Another thing you'll need is a chart. And I have it all laid out so that I can write the date. And I can uh, put each animal's weight during the date on the lines. So as I go down the rows for Maxwell and all these other animals, I can compare and contrast their weights over the course of each week. The reason why Maxwell has so many more weights than the other animals is because I originally started doing this because of Maxwell, because he's going in and out of rumation, which is a reptile version of hibernation. And I'm just trying to make sure he's not losing a lot of weight or becoming sick or anything. Keeping weights on your animals helps you know when they've pooped or if they're getting too fat or if there might be some health concern. If they start drastically losing weight, then you know you might need to make a vet visit. So it's a good thing to keep track of the weights of your animals. So this particular scale is pretty cool. If you turn it on, everything on the tray is considered nothing. It doesn't weigh anything, which is great because we don't want to know how much this holder weighs. We just want to know the animal in the holder. So when you turn it on, it will register a zero. And if you take the weight the, um, holder off, you can actually see how much the holder weighs. And then you can put it back on and make sure that it reads zero again. So now whatever animal or whatever you put in the holder, like this pencil or whatever, it's really accurate and it'll tell you how many grams they weigh. So this pencil weighs five grams. Pretty cool, huh? Also, if you do not want to turn the scale off and on again, you can use this button called the tear button. And what it does is it erases how much anything on the tray weighs. For instance, the pencil, you can just hit tear and it will take it to zero, and then everything else you put on top will be weighed rather than the pencil and the tray. So we'll keep that in mind. Let's go get our first animal. Of course, our first animal is gonna be Maxwell. He will represent our medium and mostly tamed lizard to weigh. So here's what we're gonna do. It's important to put your scale on a flat, solid surface, which is why we're using this floor. And we're going to attempt to put Maxwell <laughs> in this tray. Um, you want to be patient. Eventually they'll run themselves out and they won't be so crazy. Maxwell, seriously. Sometimes it's best to put the tray on the ground and get your lizard settled in the tray before moving it to the scale. So now we can see Maxwell. His tail is not touching the ground, so everything is supported by the scale. And our beautiful bearded dragon weighs 577 grams. So we're going to write that down. As you can see, that is slightly more than last week, where he was 571 grams. Everybody say hello to Saturn, the leopard gecko. She will be our very small, somewhat skittish lizard. Show you how to weigh them. Hi, Saturn. Hello, everyone wants to see your face. Yep. Saturn is precious and adorable and probably the hungriest lizard I have ever seen in my life. So, we're going to make sure the scale is on and then we're going to tear it 
and make sure that everything is zero. Okay, Saturn, are you gonna be a good gecko? You just gonna sit there? Oh, no, 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 don't, don't escape. No, Saturn, no, no. I'm gonna be gentle with them. No, Saturn, no. You need to stay so we can see how much you weigh. She weighs a whopping 51 grams. So we're gonna write that down. Yeah, you are Saturn, you're adorable. I'm not gonna feed you until tonight because you're cor corpuscular. Hi. I love you. Well, now she's 52. Let's move her to the middle and make absolutely sure. Oh. Yep, you know what, we'll say 52. 52 is good. Let's write that down. Next, I'm going to show you how to weigh a chameleon. You'll have to excuse him, he is shedding. Um, but chameleons are unique in that they do not like to stay on flat surfaces. If you look at their wonderful feet, they are designed to climb branches. So, we have a branch for him to climb on, and what we need to do is to tear that branch and make sure that the scale will not weigh the branch, but only the lizard. So let's do that. We want to make sure that everything is stable and sturdy and that the um, stick is balanced on the holding tray. Then we'll turn it on. And now it is zeroed out. And now we will put the chameleon on the stick and then put the stick back on the holding tray. So now we have our chameleon on the stick. And when we put the stick down, we're going to make sure that nothing's going to pinch their little feet or anything like that. All right. Now that you're on there, we're going to be able to look at how much you weigh. 137. 137 grams. Good job, Galileo. Good job. He's not really a fan of the camera, but that's okay. 137 grams. Put you away now. Put you away now. Yeah, you're a good chameleon. So we've done a larger lizard, a smaller lizard, a chameleon lizard, and now I will show you how to do a really active snake. This is Caldera, the corn snake, and we're going to try to fit her on this scale while she's squiggling around everywhere. Ball pythons are generally not that bad, but corn snakes, they like to explore all the things, so... What you want to do is kind of get them in a ball shape and then put them in on the holder. Kind of like this. It's important to get them to stay without you touching them because that will change the weight. Hi. You look like you are 479 grams. You're such a good snake. 479. So here I am in a bathroom on the floor. It's a very small space and the reason why I'm in such a small space is because I have a very new lizard and I don't trust him on the ground any yet. I also have a blanket because he can fit under doors. I'm squished up against this door. Say hello to Kelvin, the black and white Argentine Tegu. Excuse his zombie appearance too because apparently this is the video where everybody is shedding. So if you ever wanted to see Tegu shed, so the same goes for Kelvin. You just scoop him up and you gotta be very gentle because you don't want, especially with a new lizard, you don't want these interactions to be negative. You want them to be positive. No, nope, Kelvin, Kelvin, stay, stay. I see 94. Let's see if we can make sure of that. 93. Where's his tail? Is his tail touching the ground? That's something you gotta look out for. So we eventually got 94, so we're gonna write that down. <gasps> Hello. Hello. He's a good guy. He's a good lizard, guys. He hasn't tried to bite us or anything, which is great because these guys are gonna get to be, he's gonna get to be about 20 pounds, so. Yeah, 94. It's a long way from 20 but you're gonna get there. So let's write that down and then we'll compare everything. Yeah, yeah, we'll compare them. 
Yeah, I love you. So if we give this a look, we can see that Maxwell gained a little bit of weight. And I'm waiting on him to make sure that he's okay if I want to put him down for hibernation or bromation. We saw that Saturn actually got bigger by quite a lot of grams. She was 48 last week, and now she's 52. Galileo, he's lost a little bit of weight, but he is shedding, so that might be a reason why. <clears throat> Kelvin, oh my goodness, he was 78 last time, and now he is way bigger at 94 grams. Caldera has also gained a little bit of weight, but that is because she got fed on Sunday. And so you can kind of see that she has yet to poop. But once she poops, if you weighed her again, she would have a, a lighter weight. So that's a good way of indicating what your animal is doing. Whether they're pooping or shedding, if they're sick or just healthy, or if they're growing. And we're watching Saturn and Kelvin grow so fast, and it's super exciting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and that it helped you think about other ways of making sure your animals are healthy and happy and gives you an idea of how to keep some records on your animals. You can also keep records on how much they eat, how much they drink, how active they are during the day. It really is all up to you. Please like this video if you enjoy things like this and share it with your friends. Also, subscribing helps out the channel as well. If you have any more questions for How To Tuesday or any other content, please leave it down in the description below. I love to answer questions and I love to make videos. Have a wonderful day. See y'all.